Another party running in today's elections is the Dam Workers Party, a socialist-based party that focuses on economic inequality and social inclusion. In the 2009 elections, the party failed to receive enough votes to send a representative to the Knesset, but it has received a surge of attention after the protests in 2011 that focused on housing and economic disparity. Members call the party the face of the new left in Israel. Asma Agbaraye Sahalka is the leader of the Dam Workers Party. If elected, she would become one of the few Arab women in the Knesset. She joins us on the phone from the town of Um Al Faham in Israel. Welcome to FSRN. Hi, hi. Thank you for interviewing me. Your platform states that you are seeking revolutionary change in Israeli society based on integration, equality, and social justice. And you also state that those principles cannot be implemented under global capitalism. What is your view of social justice in Israel and how does it connect to capitalism? The revolutionary change that I am already brought to the political scene in Israel is the social and political discourse. This is, a, this is a very important change because people here are used to talk and to think in the nationalistic extreme way of thinking. And what we are bringing is a, social, a socialist a class way of thinking. And it's a, a base, it's a basic for combining and connecting Arabs and Jews together on the class issues and in the, on the political issues of concerning uh, about the um, uh, strengthening of the right-wing uh, political uh, power. And this is the time of the left. And DIME is the new left that want to uh, organize all of these uh, workers, all of the people who are also from the middle class, who work, who work very hard, who, want, uh, who, who don't want to see the, the country stolen by the tycoons and stolen by the settlers. And, da- and this is what DIME is uh, bringing, and uh, I think a very, a very successful way. You said this is the time for the left. In the 2009 elections, the DAM party received fewer than 3,000 votes. In your view, what has changed in Israeli society to make your message and that of your party of social justice uh, and your platform realistic agenda for voters? Yes, uh, the thing uh, which was different uh, than uh, 2009 is that uh, we have the Arab uh, Spring. We have the uh, Rothschild the social protest movement, and we have the economical crisis every in every way in everywhere. Uh, it means that capitalism, the neoliberal economy, is failed, and it cannot uh, bring the people uh, their uh, basic uh, rights for job, for decent job, for health, for education, uh, for uh, for uh, the basic basic issues that uh, a state has to. Uh, to give uh, her citizens. Because of that, now there is mistrust, a huge, uh, because of the huge gaps between rich and poor, uh, that uh, 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 we have now a great uh, vacuum, that a big, very big vacuum, uh, that it's uh, uh, for dime, it makes a uh, dime very relevant. Uh, here in Israel, especially, I talk about Israel, but also in the Arab uh, world, people. Uh, to the street to ask for democracy and social justice. This is this, the same slogan here that we heard of in Tel Aviv, and we participated in this uh, protest movement. And DIME now uh, has a new list. It's uh, part uh, part of it is the people from uh, from DIME who are activists in the in organizing and struggling for uh, uh, workers' rights, and also people who are from uh, uh, from uh, who are activists in the uh, social protest movement. The gap between uh, rich and poor or inequality that you're describing did prompt people to go out into the street in the summer of 2011 and and protest. Uh, One of the criticisms, though, of that protest um, across Israel was that it was slow to include a focus on the occupation of the Palestinian territories, Uh, for example, to include the economic costs of the settlements as well as a focus on housing issues in Tel Aviv and elsewhere. How do you see that criticism in terms of hopes for Jewish and Arab political alliances? Yes, I, I, I um, agree with this criticism that the uh, social protest movement didn't uh, say anything about uh, the need to end occupation. 
but we still we uh, were part of the uh, of this movement because it's a movement it's not a party without this popular movement it it was very hard to dime as a revolutionary party to work and to be active we needed this movement that the real uh, importance of this movement was that it brought the uh, social discourse uh, to the uh, to the center of the discourse in Israel and make made it clear that uh, the social uh, and economical issues are political and are very important and this is a political uh, issue what uh, country do we have in here will it ha- we will we have it a country for the rich or a country of uh, of its citizens all of its citizens how would you say your platform differs from someone like Hanin Zoabi with the Balad party who was uh, one of the only uh, Arab women in the Knesset? Uh, especially to Balad uh, party, we are so different because Balad party is a nationalistic uh, party. We are not. We are socialists. We attend Arabs and Jews uh, and we look at them as equal. Uh, we don't blame Uh, anybody of what happened in the past we are here to get responsibility on the results of what happened on the uh, the, the nakba on the uh, on what had happened in 48 we do not go and blame we do not go and uh, cry uh, we do not feel as victims we are here to change we are here to lead and we think that uh, to go uh, uh, on the nationalistic and chauvinistic uh, way is uh, only Ga- uh, widening the gaps between Arabs and Jews and um, preventing any uh, hope and any uh, opportunity, real opportunity to uh, to end this conflict. But what about the need to address the past? You mentioned the Nakba in 1948, which led to the current situation. Some would say uh, that if it's not recognized, then Israel cannot move forward with a social justice uh, platform, as you're describing. What would you say to that? I think that uh, uh, recognition will not change anything. For me, it is very important to deal with now, what happened now, what is happening now, what can be changed. You cannot change anything about what happened in 48. It was very hard. My family, all of my family, was uh, kicked out to Gaza. So for me, the Nakba is part of my family. But I know if that if I want to change the... Uh, The, the way the way that uh, now Israel is going to and things can get worse that we have to be uh, together Arabs and Jews against the right wing forces which is which can be fascist this is the Nakba that Arabs and Jews suffer from Syrian and Egyptians suffer from Americans and Spanish people suffer from and this is our uh, aim here to to bring better place better future better world And if uh, Jews and Arabs want to to be with me in this struggle, so for me, this is the end of the Nakba. You talk about um, what happened then and also your own family's personal uh, experience with that and being sent to Gaza. In an interview with Haaretz this month, you said you would not have boarded the Mavi Marmara, the, the ship that was part of a flotilla that sought to break the blockade in Gaza in 2010. Can you explain? Yes. I am, uh, what I say is that, of course, Dime is against the siege on Gaza. This is a crime. This has to be stopped. Occupation has to be stopped. Settlement has to be dismantled. All of it. And Jerusalem has to be the capital of uh, independent Palestine. For us, this is something, this are our uh, part of our principles. And on that principles, Jews and Arabs are part of Dime. I will not go to the Marmara because it is of the brother uh, Islam, uh, Islamic Brotherhood, and I do not have any connection with that, and I will not be in a coalition with the Brotherhood, the Islamic Brotherhood, because also uh, uh, the leftist Arabs in Egypt and in every place are against them. We are not for fundamentalistic forces. We want to be... We want Gaza and we want uh, Arabs and we want us here to be free of fundamentalistic uh, forces. For us, we want to be free of occupation, 
for free of racism, free of neoliberal economy, and free of fundamentalistic. For me, fundamentalistic, even if they talk that they are against America and Israel, it doesn't. Uh, it's not sufficient for me to be uh, to be in a coalition with them. You talk about uh, building a uh, left in Israel that is inclusive and that uh, is able to address the inequalities in Israel. Can you talk about how Da'am works with issues such as uh, racism in Israel, especially for um, there's a harsh refugee law passed last year, also attacks on immigrants, attacks on African migrants. Can you talk about those issues? Yes, of course. Uh, now our list is uh, uh, our uh, work in that time. Is, uh, uh, what we are doing is that we organize the workers. We uh, in, uh, recruit workers from uh, uh, all of the uh, parties, even people who um, uh, voted in the past to Lieberman, to Shas, to the Likud, to the Islamic movement, to every kind of parties. People who were uh, in the in the right wing uh, party, I don't know why. Maybe because uh, of the uh, brainwash. But now they find in Daim a, a party, a, a, a home, a political uh, home that they can uh, support because uh, they see that it supports uh, them in the uh, trade union level. So uh, this is a new. Uh, this is a sort of. A, a revolution, a revolution in the consciousness of people, and this is what Daim already succeeded in uh, in bringing to the Israeli discourse now. So this is partly a, a, a struggle against racism and against this uh, brainwash, against uh, uh, of Russians against Arabs, of Arabs against Jews, of Jews against uh, and all all of uh, the citizens against the refugee. For us, uh, the refugee uh, Africa refugees. It is very clear that uh, Israel has to give them uh, um, uh, recognition and have to give has uh, to give them uh, recognition as uh, refugees and to let them work. This is a crime not to bring them uh, the uh, not to give them this right because of that uh, uh, crime also is getting uh, more and more in Tel Aviv and uh, the. The, uh, we look at the racist uh, parties uh, in the, from the right wing in a very deep uh, a concern, and uh, we look at it as a dangerous, very dangerous uh, issue for democracy and for humanity. Azma Akbariye Zahalka with the Dam Workers Party. In closing, you've said that Israel is not a Jewish state, but has become a state for the rich. How so? How does that enter into your work in this election and beyond? Yes, of course. I I told them um, in this uh, campaign, I told the Israelis, the Jews, something like that. I said, look, in the Nakba in 48, uh, Israel stole the country from the Arabs. And in the recent 20 years, because of the neoliberal economy and the globalization, capitalist globalization, the rich stole the country from all of us from the Jews, from the Arabs, and they send us to poverty and send us to uh, instability and, uh, uh, and to social gaps and to a place that uh, this place is not serving the, seat, the, the, the people in it. So this is time for us to struggle for a new hope, for a new state, another place that is good for all of the people, not only a, a privilege for part of the people. And now this is our time to build a new state, to build a new society, this is all about. And I think that what happened in Occupy Wall Street, I look at it as a, as them as a very courageous people. For us, they gave us a very good, very big hope that people can bring change even in, in the United States. And we look forward to, uh, for a, a revolutionary change in the United States. And uh, we will be here influenced by it, uh, definitely. And I think not only in Israel, but in, in Egypt, in Syria, in every place, people who are fighting for freedom, for democracy, for social uh, justice. Uh, now we uh, feel that we are the 99%. We are part of this new society. This is the society that we are intending to build in here. And Daim is, is part of this process here inside Israel. Asma Akbariye Sahalka is the party leader for the Dam Workers Party. She joined us on the phone from Umar Fahem in Israel. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You're welcome.